everybody, it's Villa Hermann Valo here from the band Him from Helsinki, Finland, and you're enjoying at the moment, you're enjoying the Krang video podcast. So uh, keep on enjoying it even more if you can. Please. Till next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Any female character? Um, mm, um, there's so many. Eve could be quite interesting. Elizabeth Bathory could be quite interesting. Be nice to uh, bathe in the blood of virgins, and um, and you know, and she um, had spent the rest of her life locked in a tower. I live in a tower, so I, I think I'd, I'd actually feel quite comfortable for it. So you know, with it, so. I think Elizabeth Bathory. Oh Lord. Um, yes, I am. I'm extremely scared. You know, I, I know that. Um, but you know, smoking cigarettes is okay compared to like smoking crack. So I'm on the, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm on the, you know, safe side of things. You know, when it comes to smoking. But um, uh, yeah, it's not good. But so is not the pollution. So it's not um, a lot of other things, you know, and and such as like the methane gas, you know, released by the rest of the guys in the tour bus. So uh, that's 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 a big big problem, you know, globally, not only for me. Um, we did a cover of Blue Oyster Cult's "Don't Fear the Reaper" back in the day, and that has a sort of a Romeo and Juliet type of a vibe to it, and. Um, then I luckily enough ended up being in a relationship that was um, was um, in a lovely way terrible and very straining one. And then I, you know, just, I don't know. I can't remember. It was such a long time ago, maybe 97 when I started working on that song. So, um, you know, I, I was just maybe asking myself the question, how far am I willing to go for a um, pair of tits? Um, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully it would be like our thriller that be sells sells so many copies that we could just all of a sudden, you know, start doing smack and do the Miles Davis trip, you know, just releasing so bad albums under ridiculous pseudonyms that we don't have to we don't have to think about. We don't have to, you know, do this anymore. We could just you know, live in a Fellini movie for the rest of our lives amongst tigers and, you know, naked dwarves. It's, you know, stuff like, you know, what we all dream of. Maybe I, I don't. I don't. To be honest with you, I don't know. You know, uh, but uh, yeah. But let's say if it would be a swan song, it would be a pretty quirky one. <laughs> Horror movie. Um, let's say that we were thinking of copying the concept of Brett Michaels' "Rock of Love" with um, our drummer Gas Lipstick and calling it the Gas Chamber. And I think that it would be like um, the rock of love mixed with some horror aspects that would be unavoidable. So I guess it'd be like, um, um, you know, um, reality horror TV for the first time. Uh, but um, but then, unfortunately, you know, Gaz got married and he's got a kid now. So I think all the horrific things are happening between those four walls. And even I don't know what's going on in there. And I don't want to. <laughs> Romantic. Um, um, romantic. Uh, uh, probably for me, it probably means um, that there's still stuff stuff left for the uh, imagination. The Victorian romantic, in a way that uh, that uh, you're allowed to dream and uh, you're allowed to um, not to behave exactly like the society wants you to. That's what it means. It doesn't necessarily mean, you know, romantic in a sense of uh, candlelit dinners or anything like that. So, so um, it's tough to say. I think that musically, I'm trying to find it out. You know what it means. Have been doing so for the past, you know, what, 15 years, and very unsuccessfully.